What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Shads React, and we're back with another video. What we got today, see? Today, we're back with another first time reaction to something a little bit different on this channel. Yes. It's our first comedy reaction. Mm. We'll be reacting to the comedian Gabriel with the gift basket. That so I heard crazy. this one is a little bit, <laughs> little bit, little bit, little bit, you know. What you heard? What, 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 what little little birdie you heard? Controversial. Is it? Okay. Yes. <laughs> we like controversy though. We love to dip and dabble between conversations. So yes. I feel like this, especially with comedians, you know, they they, they, they kind of don't like. They don't hold back. They don't hold back. They hit the <laughs> gas and they go. So I'm, I'm ready to see how he's going to hit these punchlines. Yes. But before we get started, guys, we are on the road to 50 k and we cannot get there without you. So if you like this video, you like us, you like what you see so far, make sure you scroll down, hit the red subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a thing. Okay, just hit the button and turn on the post notification bell. Without further ado, let's get into the video. I thought it would be great if I could tell an old story that was from years ago that never made it to a one hour special. And uh, the cool part about this story is that it it now has a different ending. <laughs> okay. The story is called The Gift Basket. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. I don't know either. <laughs> some of you know it, some of you don't know it, but after this, you're never going to forget it. Okay. Okay. All you have to know about this story is that all the people involved have always been and will continue to be friends. That being said, Martin and I, Martin, <laughs> all the good ones start like that. Martin and I, I like are scheduled to perform mm -hmm. in Northern California. Usually we fly, but this particular day I was having a problem with Southwest Airlines. They wanted me to pay for an extra seat for someone who wasn't traveling with me. Okay. Take your time. You'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I tell Martina, I'm not paying for an extra seat. Let's just drive. It's six hours. <laughs> so we headed north. Three hours okay. into the drive, we're passing through a city called Fresno. And as we're passing, hey, Fresno, five, five, nine, get us away. Anyway, as we're passing through Fresno, we start seeing billboards off the side of the freeway that said, performing this weekend at the Radisson Hotel, directly from BET's Comic View and Showtime at the Apollo, comedian G. Riley. And I look at Martin, I go, oh shoot, G's in town. And Martin goes, yeah, I haven't seen G in years. So we're like, let's stop by the hotel and say hi. So we pull into the parking lot. He's on his face. We walk in. I tell Martin, he doesn't know we're here. I'm going to crank call his room. He goes, what are you going to say? I said, I'm going to tell him that I'm the front desk and that he just received a gift basket. He goes, what's so funny about a gift basket? I said, <laughs> I'm going to describe it over the phone. And I'm going to make all the items that are in this imaginary basket become items that stereotypically a black person might uh -oh. like. Uh-oh. you crazy. Uh -oh. I'll tell you what, we got two hours to kill. How about this? How about we go to the supermarket and we make an actual racist oh, gift God. basket? He said a racist <laughs> gift basket. Oh, wait outside to see what happens. <laughs> are you down? <laughs> We went to the store. We go to a store and we start to design the sickest practical joke ever. I get a shopping cart and I'm like, all right, we need a basket. So I find one. I take out the grass, the plastic eggs, and the chocolate rabbits. And we start hitting the aisles. First item I grab is a fried chicken about that big, okay? Mm -hmm. See how quick that laugh was? <laughs> <laughs> People in here like mother this better be funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Of. I'm trying to see. What I'm it. like, come on, get I'm some of this. Going to be. There's a story, and then you could judge me in the parking lot. So anyway, then Martin hands me a miniature watermelon, and I put oh, it no. next to the fried chicken. Here's where it gets interesting. Employees of the store find out what we're doing, and they start volunteering oh, to help us finish the basket. Half of the employees were black, which made it so much more accurate. Oh, no. <laughs> aisle after aisle, aisle. One guy was stocking a shelf. He was an older white guy. And we're like, sir, can you help us? What do you need? My buddy Martin and I are trying to make this messed up racist gift basket for our black friend as a practical joke. Can you think of something we can put in there? Without even blinking an eye, the guy was like, ah, you gotta have Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man, what's up with the Kool-Aid? <laughs> 
Okay, wait. Right. There's an XL over in the back of the store in the freezer section. It's on sale two for one. By the time we get to the register, all these different employees plus us came up with the basket that had fried chicken, watermelon, Kool-Aid, grape soda, barbecue potato chips, sunflower seeds, and Ebony, Ebony Magazine. Magazine. <laughs> DVD called Bigger and Blacker. Oh, God. Magnum condoms, Newport cigarettes, a rack of ribs, the recipe for corn. The corn recipe for corn ribs. And bigger <laughs> and bigger. And bigger. Oh my God. Icing on the cake, we find a greeting card that's on clearance from Halloween, and it has a picture of three ghosts on the cover oh, wearing uh -huh. sheets. Oh no, they didn't. I oh no, they didn't. It says Happy Halloween, and on the back of the card, I write, Welcome to Fresno. Love the Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> and we stick it to the basket. Mm. We made it all nice and pretty, and we haul it to the hotel. <laughs> we pull up. What you gonna say? We walk in. The basket is hot as hell, so I'm racing in. I get inside and I put it on the counter as fast as I can, bro. It's too perfect. There's a black girl behind the front oh desk. God. As soon as I put the basket down, I hear <laughs> the chicken. Does it got some chicken? <laughs> is that chicken? <laughs> Ooh, let me see. Hold on. Let me explain. My name is Gabriel. This is Martin. We're a couple of comedians and we're about to play a really crazy practical joke on a friend of ours who's staying here tonight by the name of G. Riley, who's also a comedian. Oh, the one that's on the signs on the freeway. Yeah, the one that's on the signs on the freeway. So as a practical joke, we went to the store and we made this messed up racist gift basket. That's, that's why you can <laughs> smell <laughs> fried chicken. That's why I was going to oh, fried chicken. She was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you need Jesus, that's what you need. Oh my God. Jesus, you better hang up that phone. You ain't gonna believe what I'm looking for here. Mm. Listen, we think it would be hysterical Ooh. if we could have you deliver the basket for us. Oh God. She lost it. Oh, the hell you did. <laughs> I know you didn't just ask me to take that to the black <laughs> man. You are out your damn mind. Oh Lord. <laughs> I got tears coming up. Yes. Okay, look here, Nacho Libre. Oh, God. You know who you are? I am not doing it. Hell no. I'll give you 50, 50 bucks. bucks. Oh, she's doing it now. <laughs> you got nails there real quick. She's doing it now. <laughs> the walk, the walk, see the walk. <laughs> we follow her to the hotel room. She knocks on the door. Martin and I hide by the elevator on the floor. She knocks, she opens the door, sees a beautiful black woman standing there with a gift basket. This is for you, baby. He says, thank you, <laughs> closes the door. She walks away and she sees us on the ground hiding, right? And she's like, y'all still going to hell. <laughs> we get up and we walk over to the door and we put our ear, listen, shh, listen. This is what we hear inside. <laughs> Because his voice changed. Uh, He's like, oh yeah, man, is it what the f <laughs> outside the door we heard racist bastards. <laughs> when we heard racist bastards, we lost it. <laughs> Housekeeping is freaking out. It's not it's funny though. <laughs> we're laughing, we're crying, we got boogers coming out. We can't take it anymore. We knock on the door. He yells, who is it? Too easy. Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> <laughs> he rushes the door. I put my finger on the peephole so we can't see who it is, right? The knob starts to jiggle, then the door explodes open, and he's like, what? And he sees us, and he's like, ah! <laughs> What's up, G? Man, don't give a brother a heart attack. <laughs> Did you like your basket? Man, that was messed up. Did you like it? Man, I love all
And now, ladies and gentlemen, a story that has been seven years in the making. I would like for you to now hear, for the first time ever, the other side of that story. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I flew him here uh. to Hawaii so that he can share this with you. Give it up for my friend, uh. Mr. G. <laughs> I'm gonna pause it right here. That was pretty sweet. I ain't, I ain't see that coming that he's gonna actually do this. Like, he pulled that off real good. Yeah, that was good. That was very clever. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was lunch. Oh, God. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. I, th I thought it was lunch. I didn't know it was racist until I got back to my neighborhood. The brothers in my neighborhood looked at me. They say, man, I, I don't believe you let that Mexican guy do that to you, man. That was messed up. I know you got him back. I said, what, buy him lunch? I can't afford to buy that man lunch. <laughs> if, I, if I buy him lunch, he'll be getting me again. <laughs> But you gotta understand, it was the perfect set of circumstances when it happened. Because I'm laying across the bed in the hotel. I ain't never been to Fresno before. And I wanted something to eat, and I didn't know where to go eat. So I'm laying across the bed, and I'm saying to myself, where can I go eat? I wish I had some food. Mm. And all of a sudden, magically, there's a knock on the door. And a black girl shows up with a gift basket. And I took the gift basket, and I said, they know how to treat their comedians up here in Fresno. <laughs> <laughs> and I walk into the bed, and I can feel the heat. And I can smell the chicken from the gift basket. And I'm like, oh, this is cool. Because nobody smells chicken and thinks of racism. Right. No, chicken. <laughs> right? That was a question line by itself. We don't think of racism when we see chicken. Name one time you ate fried chicken and they say this is racist. Right. right so I see the watermelon. I'm like, oh, this is cool. They know how to treat a comedian up in here. I get to the card and I look at the card and I go, what the f is going on? I said, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you remember the three goes without a weed card? Yes. Oh my Lord. <laughs> and I really, I really started to panic because in my head, I'm saying to myself, is this for real? Because there were billboards all over the city with my picture. Oh, and I started thinking they were oh, trying yeah, to scare yeah. me out of town. Oh yeah.
Be my G. And say, look, I put my homeboy out here to tell the other side of the story. That yeah. got me right there. That was genius. I love that. Peace.